Apple Watch continues to be the most loved watch in the world because it helps you stay connected, active, and healthy. In watchOS 9, we're bringing great new features to each of these three areas. First, you can stay connected to what matters to you most just by glancing at your wrist, whether you use the popular Photos watch face or a face with rich complications. And we're adding four new watch faces for you to choose from. The astronomy face has been remastered to take advantage of the expansive display and shows current cloud coverage around the world. The lunar calendar is used to observe traditional holidays and special events in many cultures. The lunar watch face celebrates this thousand-year-old practice with support for Chinese, Islamic, and Hebrew calendars. Playtime, designed by artist Joy Fulton, features whimsical animated numbers. You can tap the display to send them bouncing around, and when you lower your wrist, they take a nap. Finally, Metropolitan highlights watch typography with a new font that dynamically stretches when you rotate the digital crown and features many lovely color combinations. Today, I'm excited to tell you about the biggest update to Wear OS ever. We've been hard at work in three key areas. First, building a unified platform jointly with Samsung, focused on battery life, performance, and making it easier for developers to build great apps for the watch. Second, a whole new consumer experience, including updates to your favorite Google apps. And third, a world-class health and fitness service created by the newest addition to the Google family, Fitbit. The Workout app is one of the most popular apps. So in watchOS 9, we're bringing you easy to use metrics, views, and training experiences inspired by high-performing athletes, starting with running. It's a sport that no matter what your level, you can use metrics to better understand your performance. And switching up your training can reduce the chance of getting injured. The first thing we're doing is adding three new running form metrics to track how efficiently you run. Measuring these from the wrist isn't easy. Take vertical oscillation, for example which is a measure of how much you move up and down. If it's too high, your energy might be wasted going up versus propelling you forward. In order to capture this from the wrist, we need to extrapolate your torso movement from the distinctive style of your arm swing. We use machine learning and sensor fusion, a combination of accelerometer and gyroscope to isolate your torso movement and then measure how much vertical oscillation is produced. We use a similar approach to measure the two other running form metrics, stride length and ground contact time. These metrics can be added to new easy to read workout views. Each workout view lets you see more at a glance. Scroll the digital crown to see new views for familiar metrics like segments, splits and elevation. And we're introducing heart rate zones so you can quickly see what zone you're in and get a sense of your intensity level at any point during your workout. And there's also a new custom workout that you can use to add structure into your run. For example, if you are trying to improve your speed or endurance, you can create a workout using distance and time intervals that include sets of work and recovery, which you can repeat as needed. Let's get started by talking about our partnership with Samsung. Samsung and Google have a long history of collaborating. From the early days of Android, whenever we've tackled problems together, the ecosystem has grown for everyone. And now we're combining the best of our two operating systems, Wear OS and Tizen, into a unified platform focused on faster performance, longer battery life, and a thriving developer community. Working together, we've made apps start up to 30% faster, and animations and transitions are super smooth. We're also addressing what consumers always want from a wearable, longer battery life. By taking advantage of smaller, lower power cores, we can do things like run the heart rate sensor continuously, letting you better track your activity during the day and your sleep overnight, while giving you plenty of battery to spare for the next day. This combined platform isn't just for Google and Samsung it will continue to be available for all device makers, which means 
Developers can build apps with a single set of APIs and reach millions of consumers all over the world through the Google Play Store. The Sleep app has helped millions of you by providing insights into how much sleep you're getting, along with metrics like heart rate, respiratory rate, and blood oxygen. In watchOS 9, you'll be able to learn more about your sleep with Sleep Stages. Apple Watch uses signals from the accelerometer and heart rate sensor to detect which stage of sleep you're in. Machine learning models were trained and validated against the clinical gold standard of polysomnography with the largest and most diverse population ever studied for a wearable. You can see how much time you spent in each stage as well as when you might have woken up. You'll see more details in the Health app where you'll learn that each sleep stage, REM, core, and deep, perform an essential function. And as you sleep, you're likely to cycle through these stages multiple times. Researchers are still looking into what happens during sleep and how it impacts your health. We want to help push forward the science of sleep. So, Apple Heart and Movement Study participants will now be able to contribute sleep stage data through the research app. With the large scale of this study, we are excited about the potential discoveries. That's what's new with sleep. Over the last seven years, we've learned a lot about what people love most about their smartwatch, and we've built a whole new experience with your preferences in mind. First, our new navigation system makes it faster than ever to get things done on your watch. No matter what you're doing, you can access shortcuts to important functions like instantly switching to another app. Let's say I'm running with Strava, and I'm about to hit that long, grueling hill. I just double press to switch to my last app, Spotify, put on my most motivating song, and then switch right back without missing a beat. It's such a simple thing for a more helpful and fluid experience. People have also told us they love getting glanceable pieces of helpful information just to swipe away from their watch face. So we're expanding our collection of tiles. Thanks to the new Tiles API, any developer can create one giving people many more ways to customize their home screen carousel. Now I can go from checking my next meeting, to the weather forecast, to this new tile from Calm, which helps me relax before a stressful event like presenting at Google I.O. <laughs> We've also been hard at work revamping the wearables app experience with a material design update and expanded capabilities, starting with your favorite ones from Google. This includes things like getting turn-by-turn -turn navigation in Google Maps when you leave your phone behind, being able to use Google Pay in 37 countries and more than 200 public transit systems around the world, or downloading music from a catalog of more than 70 million songs for offline listening in the YouTube Music app, even without your phone nearby. We're thrilled about all the ways you'll be able to experience the best of Google on your watch. And speaking of the best of Google, I'm delighted to welcome the newest member of the family to wear, Fitbit. Health and fitness is essential for wearables, and Fitbit has built a world-class service. There's so much more in watchOS 9, including support for six new keyboard languages, a new way for developers to connect their watchOS apps to Apple TV, and with family setup, kids can now control home devices right from their wrist. WatchOS is the world's most advanced wearable operating system. And WatchOS 9 takes it further with new features to help you stay connected, active, and healthy. I couldn't be more excited for all the updates starting to roll out this fall. Stay tuned for our developer keynote to learn more about new tools and libraries to help you build great apps for the watch. From a unified platform with Samsung to a new consumer experience, and a world-class fitness service from Fitbit. This is a new era for the wearables ecosystem.